If you're preparing for a job interview and in the job description, they mention databases or tables or SQL, make sure you prepare properly. In this video, I'll be talking about interview related questions related to SQL vocabulary as well as terminology. What is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a domain specific language used to manage and manipulate relational databases. Explain the difference between SQL and MySQL. SQL is a language used to communicate with databases, while MySQL is an open source database management system that uses SQL to manage its databases. What is a database? A database is a structured collection of data organized in a way that allows for easy retrieval, storage, and manipulation of data. What is a table in a database? A table is a collection of data organized in rows and columns. It is the basic unit of storage in a relational database. What is a primary key? A primary key is a unique identifier for each record in a table. It ensures that each record can be uniquely identified. Explain the concept of foreign keys. A foreign key is a field in one table that refers to the primary key in another table. It establishes a relationship between two different tables. What is the WHERE clause used for? The WHERE clause is used to filter records based on a specified condition. What is the difference between DELETE and TRUNCATE? DELETE is used to remove specific records from a table, while TRUNCATE removes all records from a table effectively resetting it. Explain the order by clause. The order by clause is used to sort the results set in ascending or descending order based on specified columns. What are the main types of SQL commands? SQL commands can be broadly categorized into four types, data query language, DQL, data definition language, DDL, data manipulation language, DML, and data control language, DCL. What is an index in a database? An index is a data structure that improves the speed of data retrieval operations on a table at the cost of additional storage space. Explain the concept of a view in SQL. A view is a virtual table that displays the results of a select query. It does not store data, but provides a way to present data from one or more tables in a specific format. Quick break. If you're finding this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you need help on your software testing journey, Check out my website, thetestinglead.com. I have books and courses to help you along your journey. Now, back to the video. What is the difference between group by and having? Group by is used to group rows based on a specified column, while having is used to filter the results set after grouping. Explain the concept of normalization in databases. Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to minimize redundancy and dependency. Explain the differences between join and union. The main differences include first a purpose. 
Union combines result sets vertically, stacking them on top of each other. Join combines rows horizontally, matching them based on specified conditions. Operation. Union works with result sets from different select statements. Join operates on tables in a database. Data sources. Union works with result sets from one or more tables or queries. Join works with actual tables in a database. Combining columns. Union requires that the number of columns in each select statement is the same. Join combines columns from different tables based on a specified condition. And last but not least, handling duplicates. Union removes duplicate records by default. If you don't want to, use union all. Join does not inherently handle duplicates as it combines rows based on specified conditions. I'll have a separate video actually going through queries they may be asked about in an interview. Today was just the vocabulary part. The next video will be actual queries where you're writing select statements to answer questions. If you have any terminology or verbiage or vocabulary SQL questions that I might have missed, please leave them below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below as well. But most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.